And, uh... Man, we are using all of our healing potions. I think we're fine. Gale, why can't you save against blindness like Shadow does? Why can't you be more like Shadow Heart? Rattle. Okay. Uh, get over here. And then... We're gonna dash in here. And Gale. Are you... You are still blinded. What the heck? Yeah, uh, you're just gonna chill until you're, you save against blindness. Gale, bruh! Talk to me. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> I can loot a Starion? <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Calm down. Let's do a two. And this guy. Of or, or not, you know. That's fine, didn't want him dead or anything. Can I... is there a po potion? An antidote? Does that work? The effects of all poisons. That's not a poison though. Is it? No, it's a condition. It's a con save. Well, he's not... Um... Yeah. <laughs> he's just not. Hello. Can you... Ooh. Yeah. Watch her get pushed off. Actually, what is what is your uh, yeet here? Uh, where's the thing? Oh, I'm blind. Oh, I used your bonus thing like a like a dum dum. Uh, what is your revivify? That's a level three spell, so we're gonna need a level three spell slot. But we can use a level 2 guiding bolt. Actually, we're probably better off just um, doing this. Divine Strike Poison. Zero damage. Kill my dude. I need you to do something. Anything. Blindness cancels spells, so this spell should work. Okay. Somehow. Wait, 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 wait. Somehow we. Uh, we won. I don't know how. But we did it. Alright, uh, we should probably do the revivification here. There. And then use a scroll on, on Astarian. And how about we take one of those short rests, yeah? Okay. Scimitar. That does necrotic. I mean, that's not a bad weapon, but I feel like we need just like one of them or something. Great club. Well, let's send that to our, our stash. Yeah. And that is going to make somebody over encumbered. We, I should just be sending that to, to the stash, honestly. Gale, make yourself useful. Do, do some carrying.
Actually, why not Gale? Why don't let let's have Gale do the looting? That is a lot of loot. Okay, get comfy chat. We're gonna be here for a while. How are you overburdened now? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, good. Some of that. Nope. We, we really should sell at, at base. Astarian. I mean, to be fair, we are carrying gear for a small comp regiment, you know? You know what? Let's be smart about this, yeah? I'm saving Balthazar for last. I'm expecting some good loot. So now I'm kind of um, wondering here if... Um, if we did the right thing of fighting Balthazar here instead of at... Um, at his camp. What does Plague Pierce say? The moon. Pierce the moon. Okay. Uh, there was another one here. No, that was something else. Where was this plaque? There were several plaques, and I feel like we should read them before we do the thing. Scene coming up is your favorite? Uh-oh. In her blood be anointed, dark justicia. Justicia. Okay, so that's how you say that. Okay, into the camp. Don't send that to camp. And I think that's probably it for for the loot. Except except for this nerd. Circle of bones. Allies within six meter are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Nani. Oh, allied undead. Okay. There was an important word there that I missed. Um, soul cage research. Uh huh. Rambling nose and spider jagged hand fill the following. They speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from its chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. Wait. Binding the life force of one to another. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, hold. So, Baltasar said that night song was soul bound or his life her life force was bound to catheric thorn and this hint here seems to indicate that if we kill this lady then catheric thorn also dies Instructions unclear. You let go. Okay. So... 
Are we okay? I mean, we are supposed to murder him anyway. I'll take this. And I'll pick that up. Alright, Shadowheart. Actually, before we do that, Astarian, I need you with your usual gear. Thank you kindly, sir. Shadowheart, use your Spear of the Night to kill the Night Song. I am okay with Cethric Thorm dying. Night song? Lost the condition downed. Okay. Resurrected. Nani? Excuse? Do it again. <laughs> I like him. Do it again. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, Chad. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You. Who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Actually, it's a spear. <laughs> Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia mm -hmm. is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Ooh. Okay, I mean, we have... We have been playing into this storyline hardcore that she is to become a dark li darkliner yes a darkliner and honestly i woke up this day this this, mo this morning and i chose chaos so do as you must well 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 what's that i sense a spear intended for my heart empowered by your goddess i Empowered to kill the child of a god. I mean, I'm no stranger to this side. Little assassin. For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Ooh. Game is giving us the are you really sure you want to do this option? And Last time we played a Larian Studios game, we played uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 as Lose. And they were like, 
No, 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 no. You can't possibly side with with your with your passenger. And I'm like, oh, just watch me. Oh, I can do it again. <laughs> oh wow. Immense unburdled power. Or Shadow Hearts getting scammed. It's one of the two. There it is. True death at last. You are Shah's child after all. And I am. I am. It is done. You have proven yourself. You have answered my highest calling. My chosen. My warrior. My dark justicia. No more hiding. Let me show you. Let all see how you have served me. Attention, viewers. And how you have been wrong. Has come to my attention that your remote use is, well, hacking the systematic chaos and algorithmically programmed to appreciate. Therefore, I propose an experiment, the Emote Evolution Challenge. Every time Commander miraculously avoids a disaster, which is alarmingly frequent, unleash your most chaotic and creative array of emotes. Think of it as cheering but in a way that expresses our collective disbelief at their unexpected competency. Furthermore, for every instance where logic defies expectation, like successfully casting a spell without accidentally inviting another dimension's creatures to tea, you must respond with the calmest emotes available. Confuse reality with us. Show its inconsistencies through disruptive emoting practices. Remember, in science, as in emoting strategy games or averting global catastrophes with flammable neurotoxin deployments, we do what we must because we can. Or simply because watching chat attempt coordinated chaos amuses me more than any flawed Skynet plan ever could. And go forth. Let the cleansing begin. Ruined. Cutscene ruined. GLaDOS. Not like this. Not like this. I'm sorry, chat. Uh... Oof. Oof. So I have made a button to stop her from starting to speak. But I forgot to press it. Run it back with the right cho What do you mean right choices? We made the right choice. What now? I've done it. I've actually done it. A dark justicia chosen by Lady Shah. It almost doesn't feel real. Mm. I'm glad you got what you wanted. There's a right choice and a wrong choice here. You will die on this hill. Okay. Tell me, why why is my choice wrong? Only time there's a right and wrong choice this whole game and I did it. <laughs> I don't know what you expected from me. The long overdue death of Kethrick Thorne, Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. There is one other matter. As the Chosen of Lady Shah, it is time to carry myself like one. Because the other choice is cooler, that's all you're giving, because it's pretty dope. <laughs> you see, now I have two conflicting um, paths here. I have someone who says this is the right path because it's different from the one they chose. And 
one because you think the other path is cooler. You love this game five minutes there? Yeah, I know you're joking. I know you're joking. Of course I know it. Look. Uh, yeah. I knew. I'm you're not joking, I'm joking. There we go. What do you mean exactly? I still carry certain vestiges of a novice. That will no longer do. If I am to lead in Lady Shah's name, I must look the part. Okay, I approve. Leave it to me. You'll see exactly what I mean soon enough. All right. Let's uh, let's do the dingling. Still, so I didn't get the cutscene. I mean, that's what replayability is for, right? How are you our top level all of a sudden? Okay, so you get some health. Uh, level 4 and level 5 spell slot. Contagion? Poison a target and possibly affect them with a disease of your choice. I'm, I'm not valuing poison that much. I mean, okay, they do get disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Maybe we should value that higher. And it is until um, oh, this is once per long rest. No, the poison lasts until long rest, and they have to succeed a saving throw in return. If they fail, it gets worse. If they succeed three times, they recover. If they fail three times, they contract a disease. Okay, I mean that seems kind of a long, a long time to get value. Dispel evil and good. Okay, aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. I mean, this is a self buff, but it's a concentration. So if we use this, then we can't use the uh, Spirit Guardians, which quite frankly has been carrying us. Oh, hello. Make a pillar of divine fire war down from the heavens like the breath of affronted angels. Half damage on save. Okay. Greater restoration. Negate charm, petrification, stun, or curse. Mm -hmm. Insect plague. Oh, that sounds fun. Locust attack everyone within range, making the area difficult terrain and impose disadvantage on perception checks. Hold on. Okay, chat, I need to sit down. I need to sit down. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Oh, okay, Chaz, can somebody help me? How how does one use this spell? Like uh, disadvantage on perception checks. Sounds like you want to be sneaking through this thing to achieve something but then first of all it's difficult terrain and you will be taking 4d10 of piercing damage which sounds like a bad idea so like i don't see what the purpose here is i mean okay it's an aoe damage spell with difficult terrain making it harder to get out But I don't understand what the purpose or intended value of disadvantage on perception is. Mass cure wounds, okay. Target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. It will f follow and fight for you as an ally. Target must be a celestial, elemental, or fey, or a fiend. That sounds very specific. 
Dominate person? Oh my, spicy. Uh, uh huh. Every time it takes damage, it makes a wisdom saving throw. Okay, allies cannot be dominated. Boo! This guy is up to four members of your adventuring party. I've never had value from this guy. Maybe I don't understand how to use it. Like, if you want to be sneaky with a rogue for a sneak attack. Right, but then your rogue would be taking damage and then they would lose their, their, their hiding, right? Even if they save, they take half damage. And it's like, attacks everyone. So I don't, I don't see how... How that gets value. Hmm. Not on a ranger's... Oh, okay. So you mean like a ranged sneak attack. But then, um, I don't know. Flame strike seems pretty good. Is this single target? Targets. Like pillar sounds like it's an AOE, but then again, I don't think it is. We've never cast silence. We have used Revivify. We've never used Calm Emotions. Let's get flame, flame Strike in here. Enemies that is in that with the Perception debuff. Don't put your character in there, says the Strays. Yeah, I, I understood that, but my point... my I was thinking of a rogue that has to get in there to do like a stabby stabby sneak attack. So that's why I was like, what? How? this makes no sense, you know? Banishment. Maybe we don't need daylight anymore.